There will come a time along your IBM life journey when the simple task of getting food up to your mouth becomes difficult. This episode will review how I get food to my mouth with an innovative eating device that I purchased three years ago and the ways I had to modify how I use it even while deep into stage three of the skeletal muscle disease called inclusion body myositis. Hi, Jerry here again in my 36th IB myositis episode. Since my diagnosis of inclusion body myositis in 2007, I faced increasing challenges, including the task of lifting food up to my mouth. After purchasing several eating instruments, all that had a short, useful life for scooping food, I researched and invested in the Liftware Level, a computerized handle that keeps its attachment level for people with limited arm or hand mobility, resulting in helping us eat more easily. My inclusion body myositis and predicting I'd be losing additional arm abilities in my future seemed to be more than enough reason to invest in this special device that has worked well for me for three years now. The liftwear level was not inexpensive even back in 2017. I originally purchased the liftwear level base kit for $195, the same price it is today 37 months later on the liftwear website or $199 if purchased from Amazon. As the base kit only includes a spoon attachment, another $35 was forked over for the optional fork attachment. I know that sounds like a lot of money, but in my case my complete setup has cost me less than 9 cents per meal that I have used it, and in my opinion was well worth it. We take the lifter level along with us every time we visit a restaurant. You wouldn't believe the number of times we've been questioned by doctors, physical therapists, nurses, and other caregivers who notice me using this device while dining. Their comments have included such terms as groundbreaking and as innovative a device for eating they've ever seen designed for the disabled. Since purchasing the liftware level more than three years ago, I have had to change how I use it but alternate user methods have always been found that still allow me to use it today. Three years ago I used this device with my right hand and without the need for using the hand strap that's included in the starter kit. Since then, the considerable loss of strength in my right hand and arm caused me to eat with my left hand. Soon after that change, I realized that the hand strap made the device retention a little easier. But now, deep into stage 3 leg of this IBM journey, the strength in my left arm and hand began making it difficult, tiring, or impossible to use, showing how relentless IBM has become for me. A couple episodes back, I discussed how my T-Rex length arms made things difficult. My current success with this device now depends on pivoting my elbow on my power chair's armrest or non-slip tabletop surface. When at a restaurant, I find that placing my elbow between the joystick and the toggle switch control box on my Quantum Edge works as a good solid elbow pivot location that allows me to direct food to my mouth. This amazing device compensates for any angle or rotation of the handle. I have encountered one problem with the liftware level. Occasionally it doesn't turn on. This problem occurs when wash water gets into the hollow hole on the attachment's end. Since water cannot be easily wiped from this area, it is necessary to simply blow out the moisture and also wipe off any water that may have transferred onto the power terminals on the business end of the liftware device's handle. After realizing this, and knowing how to remedy these seldom occurrences, I have never not been able to use my liftware level. Another change I've made within the last year is the type of dish that I use during mealtime. When I started pushing too much food off the side of the standard dinner plate, I resorted to using a shallow tray dish or a shallow cake pan with sides on it to be able to get food pushed up on my spoon or fork. And sometimes spinning and turning the dish is necessary to be able to capture a fork or spoonful of my meal. 
Charging the liftware level is easy too. Just line up the charging cord dot with the dot on the device handle. The ring on the charger attachment flashes during the charging process and turns to a solid light when completed. I've never run out of battery life, which is great considering how long an IBMer must chew each mouthful because of our IBM inherent swallowing difficulties. For three years of use, I'm still happy I purchased this liftware eating device for my inclusion body myositis, or I suppose it could be used for any other type of muscle condition that makes eating difficult. I've placed the Liftware website link in the info section for this video. Thanks for joining me for this 36th episode as I show you how I live my life in my home with this awful disease called IBM. If your children are looking for a gift idea, share this video with them. Please press the thumbs up button and subscribe button if you enjoyed this information. Thanks, and chow down my IBM friends.